How's your mom and dad? Yeah, they're good. They're uh, they're living up north um, right now, um, enjoying the good weather. It's it's been extremely hot here, um, so we're no air conditioning up there. So they're uh, in the lake all the time. Unreal. <laughs> Well, yeah. we're we're home like we've got uh, oh. just sitting beside the SSC Arena here right now. So yeah. um, I'm sure you must be missing that because it's absolutely brilliant to um, to have you back again. How's uh, how did your your summer go and um, and how did the move come around again? Because I knew you were sort of on a fence of wanting to hang the skates up. Yeah, um, summer was good. Like uh, took took a bit of time after the season just to decompress. Um, it was a wild season. I'm sure uh, whoever's seen that documentary uh, uh, has uh, saw it from a little more detail. But from our side, the players' side, there's a lot of uh, a lot of ups and downs, and um, and some extreme, extremely good moments and moments I'll never forget. But um, and then a couple months into the summer, I just like had some conversations with family and my girlfriend, and we we kind of. Uh, thought let's explore all our options and see what happens and then uh, we came to some a good agreement in Belfast and it couldn't be more excited that it worked out and uh, coming back to play uh, for Belfast and live in Belfast uh, it's been an incredible two years and it's just a um, special place in uh, our, our hearts so it's uh, it's it's extremely exciting to be back so I'm a, I'm a firm Sam is it was either Belfast or it wasn't anywhere you were going to hang the skates up yeah, no, I, I, uh, I, Belfast. Or maybe, is, maybe the NHL. I'll give you. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That with the Leafs. Um, yeah, the Leafs are Belfast. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I. Uh, it was Belfast or nothing. I think it just. Um, they've you guys have provided a, such an, a welcoming environment, and uh, it feels like home for uh, Katrina, who's my girlfriend, and I. And then uh, so. It, it was once we've kind of decided that maybe that that's an option. It was kind of, we just got real excited and then messaged the people I needed to message. And then uh, we kind of uh, went from there and it, it all worked out. You know, when you're, when you're looking back in last year, it could have been very easy to just go, you know what, that's me done. You know, we've, we've, we've done the grand slam and, and, you know, when you look back at the, the start of last season, the adversity of the team went through. Adams used that word an awful lot over last year. Uh, and obviously preparing and getting everything, you know, for, for a tough season in the Elite League, doing the Challenge Cup thing, doing the starting the season back in early August last year. You know, it, it's a, it's a lot of people don't realise how tough it is on the body and how, um, you know, how, how much effort and time and, and dedication that you need to put into what your your well class your sport. Yeah, um, I think we played like the team played like seventy nine mm -hmm. or eighty games last year. Um, I missed a couple because of injury, but no, it's a grind. And like uh, with the travel and the, the Champions League travel, obviously is magnified. There's a lot further uh, further distances and um, nights in the hotel, early mornings on the ferry. It it all adds up and. It, it's an it's an extreme grind, and um, as Adam said, uh, it's you you face a lot of adversity, um, and I think that like that's what made us so strong. Come late in the year, we we battled through some um, some adversity early in the year, and then kind of just uh, came together as a group. I know it was a lot of new faces, but the core stayed the same, and um, the leadership kind of. Uh, set the bar early and and that was kind of the standard and and we uh we went from there and just kind of got on that roll um in this in the league and and then won it all and then playing for championships is stressful and, and tiring and and stuff like that but it it, it all comes uh lifting that trophy in nottingham at the end of the year it it, it was uh no doubt that it was all worth it <laughs> i know i remember i remember seeing you on the ice and and uh, you know, looking back twelve months previous when Cardiff beat us in in Nottingham and and you know to to, to get one over them because they they were sort of building a, like a playoff dynasty over the last few years, but uh, to get one over them to compete the Grand Grand Slam, but you know that that one must have felt good to to get that trophy in, in Nottingham. Yeah, um, yeah, that was incredible when 
we had a slow start to that game, but then when Jeff scored, um, we kind of we got our legs and um, we we hadn't been great in the playoffs yet. And then I think we just we just saw the saw the light and and tasted the tasted the hardware and and then we went from there like Ari scored a big goal and then Donnie and then once I tucked in that empty netter I was like this this is awesome and it wasn't a overtime game like the challenge cup the year before so you could kind of enjoy the last couple minutes of the game being up a couple goals um and just soak it all in and hear our fans chanting it was a, a really special moment and uh and then uh, lifting and had taking pictures with all three of those trophies on the ice. That was uh, that was a pretty cool and uh, very special picture. We we know you obviously got the empty net goal, but I think you, and I think it's fair to say you had everybody in the building date when you literally made that little drop pass for Donnie to score <laughs> the, the the insurance yeah. goal to a certain extent. You know, he, Ben Bynes thought you're everybody may have thought you're making that pass or taking that shot. Sorry, and then all of a sudden you you. You must have caught him out the side of your eye coming off the bench and that right into his path. But, um, I mean, talk us through that play because I, I never got a chance to speak to you about it because, you know, that obviously when the playoff final finishes, yeah, you know, it's there's so much happening and I knew you were away on holiday off that and then away back to, to North America. Yeah. Um, actually, Basti made a great play to me out of the corner and then um, I, uh, I had known that um, – um, Laker had changed, so I knew someone was coming on the ice. I didn't know who, so I took a quick peek and saw it was Donnie. Um, and uh, I just kind of I, I knew I wanted to pass it, <laughs> like, but I wanted to fake a shot first there, and and then he got the puck in the slot, and I just once I gave it to him, I'm like, please bury this, please bury this, and <laughs> um, it was a no doubter. It was a great shot, and uh, I think that was kind of the nail in the coffin, and um, I was <laughs> it was a extremely exciting moment and then watching those replays is lots of fun and obviously the goal i remember you tell me after the game in the locker room and the, you, the, you felt that the puck was bobbling all over the place and you <laughs> I mean obviously you want to get as close as possible to the net for the empty netter yeah no that that was uh that was one of the most stressful goals i've ever or uh rushes i've ever been on the puck was bouncing goody was to my left and um they were in desperation mode, so they were chasing me. But I just wanted that puck to be settled, and uh, that that one would have been hurt. Uh, that one would have hurt if I missed. So um, I know uh, Longer missed an empty netter and didn't hear the end of it. So I'm missing one of that <laughs> magnitude. Uh, missing one of that magnitude would have been uh, probably stuck with me forever. Some probably on my elite prospects profile. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you when you you talk about the core of the group, obviously we've lost a couple of players and. Um, and you know, when you look at the, the guys that are still coming back, you've got Besco, you've Laker, Longer, Mark Garcia, Jeff Baum have all been announced. And, and you know, it's important to have uh, returnees, it's important to have those guys in the room who've been through the, before with regards to winning and, and, and doing what it takes and, and working hard to get what you deserve at the end of the season. So, you know, obviously, with a lot of new faces coming in, um, you know, you'll be, you'll be part of that leadership group. To, to uh, make sure you, you tell the guys what they expect, especially early on in the season when three points in September, October is worth, if not more than what it is back in, in the end of uh, March. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. I think, especially with the league format being different than kind of everywhere else, um, it's it's crucial to have those guys that have been there and been through it and know what it takes. Uh, it just, it, it's more of an everyday approach. Every, every game's huge. Um, even though some feel bigger than others at times. And if you're looking at the table, but every game means the same, as you said there. Uh, so I think it is, it is crucial to bring back those guys like Garside's one. Um, it's gotta be up there on most trophies, one for a Belfast giant, maybe, maybe the most. Yep. Um, and then, and then the other guys, the last two years, we've won five out of six. So I think we can, we can bring that experience um, and just kind of relay the message that like every, every day matters uh, practice game. And if you take that approach, nothing changes and you approach every day the same and, and uh, just enjoy the ride. <laughs> Five, six weeks remaining before you head into Belfast. Uh, what's the plan for the remainder of the summer for you? Um, I just, 
just training, uh, get some ice time. Um, I was playing in a men's league. We actually won the championship a few weeks ago. So uh, I've won four trophies this year. So that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> not a big day. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's it's a, a league with my buddies. We've all uh, played in the past, but I think I'm the only current guy playing. So uh, that's lots of fun. And then uh, just training and enjoying the sun, uh, maybe a bit of golf and and then just get all uh get everything in order and get to belfast mid-august and uh get ready to roll um don't be phoning me at 4 30 in the morning to pick you up at the at the airport by yeah. the way yeah I've, 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 I've uh looked at uh some flights i think uh there I'll, I'll be on a different one this time good lad good lad <laughs> yeah, was, what's the message for the players for the fans obviously you know these fans uh yeah. the, the attend the ssc arena you've seen the the numbers that they came in, and especially towards the end of the season, the support yeah. that uh, the the whole arena gave you. Um, have you got a message for them coming in in a few weeks' time? You getting ready for the season? Yeah, I just can't wait to be playing in front of you again uh, on the road and at home. You guys travel in bunches, and um, at home the atmosphere is incredible, and it's intimidating for other teams to come in. So, um, it just it's uh, a huge reason why I decided. Uh, coming back was uh gonna be the, the next step for uh for us and um i'm just uh thrilled that i can be back playing in front of you and the best fans in uh potentially the world but definitely europe <laughs> top man coach absolutely yeah. really appreciate it mate really looking forward to seeing you when you get in next month yeah thanks kitchy appreciate it <laughs>